Hey y'all, so if you didn't catch my previous video, I showed you how to get into and figure out your boxing stance. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through all six basic punches of boxing. Um, so stay tuned and get excited. Remember to get into our boxing stance, nice wide feet facing forward, elbows in, hands by your chest. We're gonna do all of our punches from this position since this is our boxing stance. Having your hands up by your chin, we're gonna first start with a jab. The jab is the most basic punch in boxing. It's also the most important, and it really kind of determines everything else. Um, you can fire a lot of combinations from the jab, you can keep your distance. The point of the punch is to maintain range and distance, and also to find your range. Um, because if you've ever watched a fight and you've seen in the first round they throw a lot of jabs, it's because they're trying to figure out the distance on one another and figure out how far away someone is um, and how close they need to be in order to reach them, in order to hit them. A jab is not a power punch and that's why it's thrown always on your non-dominant side, on the side facing forward. Because it's not meant to be a power punch, it's meant to help you find that range, also keep your opponent away from you. If you're throwing a jab at someone, it keeps them away. Um, it, keep, it prevents them from being able to advance forward on you. So it's very useful also, like I said, for setting up those power combinations because you can understand the distance and how far or close you need to be from your opponent in order to then uh, land one of those big right hands or land a hook right or land an uppercut. You're gonna take your hand and then essentially kind of turn it like a doorknob is how I've heard people describe it. So you always wanna turn your knuckles forward. So you're gonna be coming forward like this and turning those knuckles as you do it. So turning those knuckles, turning those knuckles, turning those knuckles like a doorknob. Putting some momentum behind those knuckles so that when they're hitting your opponent, it really hurts, it really drives in. Versus if you're just like, if you're just throwing it forward and you're not turning, this is not really doing very much. You're just throwing your knuckles forward. Not that it wouldn't hurt necessarily, but you're not really getting that maximum um, power that you need, right? This is not really doing anything. And it also kind of, even if you look, this kind of leaves me exposed a little bit, right? Kind of leaves my body open. Versus if I'm like this and I'm turned, you can't really reach me now because my hand is totally facing you. So you wanna make sure, again, always turn those knuckles, turn those knuckles. And it does take a little practice, I think, to really, to get that pop, because that pop, that's what you really want. That's what's gonna hurt. We don't wanna be just throwing it forward. You should always be throwing at eye level. So if I'm like watching myself in filming this, I wanna hit myself in the nose. That's the goal because your opponent is going to be basically at the same level as you. You're going to, even if they have a slight height advantage or they're a little shorter, it's going to be about the same. And you want to make sure that your punch is actually landing in a place that's going to do some damage, right? Like if I'm just throwing a jab and I hit you in the chest, like, yeah, that's going to hurt, but it's not really going to do that much damage to you, right? Like, so that's how you throw a jab. And then once you get that down, you can kind of mix it up a little bit because um, there's jabs to the body. So essentially just making it a body shot. And then you can also put jabs like behind each other. So it's very common to throw two jabs or three jabs or even four jabs all in a row. And again, it helps you to maintain that distance to set up those power shots. Um, and then also even, you know, potentially to, um, confuse your opponent so they don't really know what's coming next like if you're constantly just throwing a jab like eventually they're gonna pick up on that right so they're gonna be able to slip out of the way and not get hit or duck out of the way of your punch and not get hit or move away from your punch and not get hit right so you want to be mixing it up a little bit so if you do a jab to the body all that really is going to change is your level because if you think about if you want to hit yourself in the nose now you want to hit yourself in the gut so you want to essentially just duck down like this and then, yeah you don't want to leave yourself open and put your hands out here you want to still maintain your protection you want to keep those elbows in 
and just duck down like this. It's almost kind of like a miniature squat. And you don't want to go too far because again, we're going for like your midsection. We're not going to like hit somebody's legs. So you don't want to go too far down either. And that can also leave you um, exposed because if you come down, you got to come back up, right? And then that gives somebody an opportunity to potentially land an uppercut or a nice hook on you. So you don't want to go too far down when you duck. Just a tiny little duck just to get out of the way. So if I'm throwing this punch, see how I'm just getting out of the way of it? That's what you want to do. You don't want to go too far down like that. You want to just do a little duck. And then, so if you're ducking, then you can throw your jab and bring it back. So see, it's like, it's, so if I was going to do a jab to the head and a jab to the body, that's what it would look like. So jab, jab, and then I'm back up. And you always want to make sure you come right back up. Because again, it leaves you open if you're just like hanging out down here. Okay, and now I'm going to show you two and three jabs in a row. So, jab, jab, jab. That was three. Jab, jab. So see also how I'm moving forward a little bit? The idea is that you want to um, use your footwork also when you're doing this. So if you're just like standing here throwing the jabs, like you're not hitting a stationary target, right? Um, it's a lot different to hit a person than it is to hit like a heavy bag. Like this might work on the heavy bag, <laughs> but it's not going to work on a person because they're going to get out of the way. They're going to move, right? Like nobody's going to stand there while you hit. Um, and so you want to make sure that you're also moving forward and also because you want to be pushing them back. The whole idea is to keep them away from you when you're throwing a jab. So you want to be moving with them, right? Because also if they move back when you are um, hitting them, if they're moving backwards and you're not moving forwards, you're all of a sudden out of range again of hitting them. So if you're out of range, you're not gonna land anything. All that work that you did essentially to get um, into the pocket and actually land a punch, then kind of goes to waste. So you wanna remember to move forward with the momentum of the person that you're hitting. And also, um, you can feel this when you actually throw your punches. You wanna be advancing and taking a step forward when you're punching and doing your jabs. So if you're doing two jabs, you wanna move your, for, your foot forward twice and you can also um, do um, I'm not sure exactly what you would call this but it's like moving um, once forward and then once back to get yourself out of range like if you want to um, you know maintain the distance and then get back out of the pocket you would throw a jab forward and then a jab to take a step back so a jab forward and then you, you want to push off your front foot when you're throwing the punch and then move backwards. So same as you're putting that um, momentum into your front leg when you're moving forward, you can do the same thing when you're moving back. And you wanna do the same thing when you're moving back. So see how I'm pushing off my front foot and then moving forwards and backwards. And then when I do this, so here I'm in range, but then if I hit them again, and then step back. See now again we're um, we're not in the pocket, so they can't reach me anymore. Thing off the jabs like this with the footwork, and then the movement to the body. Like all of this is um, gonna make your job a lot more versatile. So you can use it in many many different ways. They think only one job is coming, but really it's two jobs. Then they're in trouble, right? Because they're probably going to get hit with at least one of those jabs, if not two. Um, so all of that, it, it definitely is about creativity. You can probably even see from the little bit there with the movement and the footwork and everything, how it, it sets up other shots. I feel like this video is actually long enough, so I think I'm just going to do this one on the jab and then move into the other punches in the next one.